This is what I think is the best looking set here. And I still have not even found a snake under it, so. Oh, there we go. Metal new. Oh my goodness. Good evening, everybody. This is gonna be the start of a new video, I believe. Um, I'm out here with Micah in Northern Alabama, and we are gonna be hitting up some roads out here. Uh, haven't really spent too much time in this area, so I don't really know what to expect, but the big target species are basically the same things we look for in Georgia, but in a new area. So really hoping to see a pygmy rattlesnake in this area. Should be plenty of timber rattlesnakes, hog noses, uh, potentially even pines and corals and all that good stuff. So really awesome habitat we're driving through. We're gonna be hitting this for the rest of the evening and into the night. So if we see anything on the road, I will stop and let you guys know. We just saw a DOR copperhead, so definitely a snaky area, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get after it and I will update you guys if we find something. All right, everyone. Well, there is our first snake of the day. A nice gray rat snake just chilling in the road here. Really, uh, <laughs> he's super kinked up. Kind of different than what we normally see uh, just across the state line in Georgia, though. I mean, definitely wouldn't be a, uh, it'd be a very out of place looking snake near the house. But kind of skinny, so we're just going to get him out of the road and let him continue on with his day. I'm sure he's looking for a couple of meals before winter gets here. But nice little gray rat snake to kind of kick off the day. Hopefully we will be able to find a couple more snakes today. But we are on the board, so we didn't get skunked at least. What's up, dude? All right, we're gonna move him in the direction he was heading. Ooh, he's getting an attitude with me. What's up, dude? Come on. Wow, why would you do this to me? This is insane. Look at this habitat. There are pine snakes and pygmies and corals and, and all that stuff. I really, I don't know. I mean, there's got to be some cool stuff here. So we're going to hit it. We got a rat snake, obviously, so the snakes are out. So we're going to keep at it and hopefully we'll be able to turn up one of our target species here at some point. And our next snake of the evening is a really weird one to see out before it gets dark. A nice little smooth earth snake. Really not something we ever see during the daytime. I think this might be the second or third time I've ever seen this species during the day that wasn't flipped. Super strange. Uh, we actually found one basking around this time last year, but it was kind of unhealthy. I mean, this guy looks fine. He's just being weird. Really don't know what he's thinking. But yeah, pretty common. We see these guys all the time, either flipping or out road cruising, usually at night though. So we're just going to escort him across the road, but nice little earth snake here in Alabama. And here is our next snake of the night, a living corn snake this time. We found a DOR just a second ago, but there we go. Nice little corn. Well, we were starting to wonder if we were going to find anything tonight because it's been another night where we've gone like an hour after dark without seeing anything. And then this guy pops up. This guy is the first corn snake I've seen from Alabama in a while. And uh, I think like only probably the second or third ever. So really cool. But not the best looking corn. There are definitely some nice ones in this area, but he's got a little bit of a dull patterning, but still a really handsome looking snake all around. Uh, the DOR we saw was kind of similar looking, but it was a baby. So very cool though. Nice little corn snake here in Alabama to hopefully start off the night. This is our first snake since the sun's gone down. So we're going to keep at it and hopefully we'll be able to turn up a couple more things, but nice little corn snake. All right, guys, and our next snake of the night is a very strange looking little rat snake. He's super contrasty, really cool looking actually. I'm gonna get a quick photo of him and then we will get a better look. So over here in Alabama, we don't really have any black rats. It's all gray rats. And this guy looks about like I would expect like a hatchling rat snake in an area where they turn all black to look like. So really strange. Um, definitely a good looking little snake though. He's super contrasty um, definitely not quite like anything else I've ever seen. Super weird looking. Second snake after dark. Hopefully there will be plenty more to come, but it is getting a little bit late and it hasn't been the most snaky night so far. Just the two snakes since the sun went down. Both of which have been juvenile pantherophis. So kind of interesting. We're going to move them out of the road though and keep at it. Hopefully there will be some more snakes to be found. So there's a copperhead. 
and it is 64 degrees right now. So stuff is out in the cold. Let's go get a look at this guy. Grab the hook, if you will. Well, that is the first living copperhead we've seen here. We saw some, uh, some DORs today, but nice, big, healthy adult copperhead. Very nice. So it is nice and cool, but <laughs> that's going in the video. <laughs> so it is nice and cool, and this guy is quite unhappy with us, so we're just gonna let him do his thing and get back on the road. Hopefully there will be some more stuff out though. I mean, it's been, the snakes have been few and far between, but they are moving, so it's been pretty solid, I guess. Anyways, he's uh, going back the way he came, which isn't a big deal because there's no traffic on this road, but nice copperhead is our fifth snake of the day, I believe. All right, guys, here's our next snake of the night. Micah spotted this little guy. I went flying past him. Nice big adult smooth earth snake flattening out for us. He's got some pretty interesting pattern on him too. They get these little speckles, salt and pepper specks on him. And this guy's got quite a few of them, but really good looking little snake. We see these guys all the time. This is the second one of the day, so we're just gonna escort him off the road, but snakes are still out, so we're gonna keep at it, even though it's getting kind of late and chilly. All right, everyone, well, we are officially cruising our way back home at this point um, we're gonna get out again tomorrow and go try for corals again but uh ended up being a kind of slow night we did get decent numbers here at the end but it i mean the snakes were few and far between unfortunately um it could have been much worse though at least we got a nice little corn snake and a couple of common snakes but yeah it was uh ended up being pretty solid i think this area is going to be good in the future we'll just have to hit it when it's a little bit warmer maybe stuff just hasn't been moving the last couple of nights like it usually does this time of year well, we are on our way out, and we cruised what is probably gonna be our last snake of the night. Nice little newborn copperhead with a vibrant little tail. All right, little guy, let's get you out of the road. That little neon tail. But we've been seeing plenty of these guys too, as we normally do in the fall. Always nice to see those super cute little vipers. And they're pretty variable too. Sometimes you get some, look at this cricket just hanging out. Sometimes you get some pretty crazy looking ones. This guy's pretty typical though. So we're just gonna move him out of the road and continue our drive home. Hopefully there will be some more snakes out, but I'm not gonna count on it. Really? Another copperhead? <laughs> this one's huge. This is a big one. Not as big as that one we saw last night. Look at that thing. That is so weird looking. Very different looking copperhead, but I'm not gonna get too close to him because he looks grumpy, but definitely a good sized one. Really interesting pattern. Very nice. 64 to 66 degrees still, so snakes are moving cool tonight. And I believe that is our ninth snake of the night, so pretty good numbers tonight all around. And I'll never complain about finding some beefy copperheads to round off the night. We might do another pass since stuff is still moving, maybe down lower at least, but very nice. Snake number nine, nice big copperhead. So that was actually a double stop, <laughs> copperhead and a worm snake. Didn't see the worm snake until now, but we are definitely going to do another pass since there's apparently just snakes everywhere all of a sudden again. That is our 10th snake of the night. Really kind of ridiculous. <laughs> We just cannot stop finding snakes, so. <laughs> this one's weird looking too, dude. This thing's beautiful. Look at that. I guess the baby gray rats out here are just dope. <laughs> Look at his face. That is awesome looking. Very cool. That is snake number 11 for the night. Stuff is just still out, I guess. Really crazy. It's after 10.30, I think, right now in mid-October in the low 60s, and there's snakes everywhere. Kind of wild. But we're gonna keep at it, I guess, until we stop finding snakes. I mean, I was trying to go home, but I, I mean, it's hard to go home when there's this many snakes out. Well, we have just continued to find snakes despite our best efforts to go home. So, because it is getting late and uh, I do wanna get out and herb tomorrow, so. We're gonna start driving home and I will stop for anything we see, but I'm not gonna keep doing passes here. I mean, it's ended up being a very solid night. Um, started kind of rocky and slow, and then it's just, it's been really very snaky so far. 
even though we haven't seen any of our target species really. Well, the corn snake was kind of a target because Micah hadn't seen one in Alabama in a long time. So that was definitely cool to see and I'm always happy to see a corn snake. So that was probably the highlight of the night. That and the, the copper worm double stop was really cool. But if we see anything else, I'll stop. But if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon, everyone. Yesterday actually was really slow and I ended up probably cutting most of that footage from this video. Uh, but we did a little road cruising and it was pretty brutal. We only saw two or three snakes all day. So I'm switching it up a little today. I'm out here getting ready to flip some tin and then I'm gonna do a little night cruising once it gets dark. Uh, but it is nice and warm. It's in the low 80s right now and the sun is out. So it might end up being a little too warm to flip this tin, but if you'll recall, last time we were out here, it was even warmer than this and we found two king snakes. So I'm hopeful that we'll at least be able to turn some snakes up today. Um, obviously never really expect to see king snakes. It's more of a hope. <laughs> so we're gonna see if there's anyone hanging out here today. King King. Very nice. That is ridiculous. I can't believe this spot is actually producing kings now. This is actually a different one than we saw here last time, too. This looks to be a young female, and the one we saw last time was a male. Crazy. That is so crazy. I went from not being able to find king snakes out here to finding three in two trips now, and that was the first thing I flipped today. I still have all the rest of the stuff out here to flip. First flip produced a king snake. In October, of all things. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna try to get some photos of this hot and very energized snake. That is crazy. This is my snake hook, and it's in the way. But I love this, the look of this snake. Super thin bands, really good looking yellow and black. A little bit of attitude. Usually the female king snakes are the ones with ridiculous amounts of attitude like this. She actually did give me a little bit of a bite when I first picked her up off camera. But yeah, very cool. There you go. There you go. There we go. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> All right, let's flip the rest of this tent and see what else we can turn up. This set was not productive last time, and it's really kind of exposed to the sun, so it kind of makes sense. Actually, it might only be one piece. Yeah, just one piece. That's going to get better later in the year, but for now, I think it's just a little too warm. All right. This is what I think is the best looking set here, and I still have not even found a snake under it, so. Oh, there we go, metal new. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that's a pair of king snakes. I can't really believe what's happening right now. <laughs> Both in shed. All right, let's see if we can flip this bottom layer. Holy crap. That's insane. Both in shed, but hey, a pair of kings is a pair of kings. <laughs> I'm not sure how well it came out in the video, but in the flip clip, but these are both huge snakes. Uh, this one's a female, and the bigger one's a male, but for a female, that one's big. All right, here's one look at the big male by himself with his man parts hanging out. <laughs> I get a lot of questions as to how I tell male and female snakes apart, and usually, it's more of a guess than a uh, definite answer. But sometimes when they're boys, they make it very obvious that that's the case and hang their stuff out for you. And here's a look at the female that's smaller. You can tell she's got a smaller little tail. And still a decent sized snake though, pretty big for a female. Uh, unfortunately, both of these snakes are deep in shed, so I'm just gonna take a quick photo and then we'll put them back under their tin. But three king snakes so far and nothing else. All right, well, let's put these two monsters back. Two more eastern king snakes our second and third snake of the day and i've hit maybe a third of the 10 i have to hit here 
and we're already at three king snakes. I, I, I would be shocked if we got a fourth, but I mean, one of the pieces that we got a king snake under last time, we still haven't hit. So let's put these guys back and get back to it. All right, there you go. Go on, go on. Awesome. All right, next stack. A rabbit just ran out from under here, so I'm not counting on there being any snakes. Sure enough, nobody. All right, next set. Oh, not a king snake for once. That's the first rat snake I've ever found here too. I'm not gonna say I'd prefer to see a rat over a king, but it is nice to actually see a rat snake here. I've been wondering for a while if they're even around because I just haven't been seeing them under the tin, even though it looks good for them. And sure enough, there we go. Nice, big, healthy rat snake in C2. All right, well, I'm just gonna actually just gently lower this guy's tin. There's a nice space under there so we're not crushing him. Because we have plenty of photos of rat snakes. They usually look about like that around here. So, all right, decent stuff already. Four snakes, all of which were pretty quality. All right, next piece. Nobody under there. Still haven't found anything under that one. All right, everyone. This piece had a king under it last time, so. Last time was also the first time I ever flipped it, so. Could be a good piece, could have just been first time luck. Let's see. Oh! I'm gonna compare photos real quick, but I, I wanna say this is a different one than the one I found last time under that piece. He has incredible stark white coloration on him. And I remember the other one, and honestly, this one looks like a, a little girl, and I think the other one was a boy. I'm gonna compare photos real quick though, and I will let you know. So I did compare photos just now. This snake has a very distinctive bar on top of its head that the other one did not. So this is a different snake. Four new Eastern King snakes today at this spot. And this one is stunning. Look at that white coloration. Incredible. What's up there, Twitchy? <laughs> that an awesome looking snake. That white is so clean. Just beautiful. Definitely my favorite one of the day so far. It's really the cleanest one by far. I think that biggest one would probably have been my favorite had it been freshly shed. I tend to prefer the black and white Eastern King snakes like this one over the yellow colored ones or the brown colored ones, which is, I mean, not to say that the other ones aren't just as cool, but this is just my personal preference and phenotype. I love the black and white. Alrighty, well, we still have a few more things to hit and that is King snake number four for the day. Definitely my favorite of the day so far. Um, we're gonna go hit these last couple pieces of tin. I'm gonna put this guy back real quick and flip the piece next to the one he was under that I haven't hit yet. So let's return this guy to where he goes and hit that last piece of tin. I just can't get over the whites on this snake. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And yet again, another female, which is awesome to see. Hopefully this snake reproduced this year and we'll be able to reproduce a few more years in the future. Look at that iridescence in the sun. All right, we'll put her back. All right, beautiful. There you go. All right. Last set for this little area. And probably our last chance at a king for king snake number five. This is gonna be our last tin set for the day before we start road cruising. Never found anything crazy under this, but I have found a couple of more common snakes. Nothing today though. All right, let's go see what all we can find crossing the road. All right, everyone. Well, we are on the road for the evening. Uh, weather looks good, temperature is good, everything looks good, but road cruising just has not been cutting it lately. Um, we've been seeing decent numbers of common snakes, but the target species just haven't been moving. 
and if they have, they've been hit by cars before we could get to them. So I don't have very high expectations for tonight, um, but worst case scenario, we can end the video with a couple of king snakes that we found today. And best case scenario, maybe we'll see something tonight. Well, here is our first snake of the night, already making its way off the road. We got a nice copperhead to start off with today. How's it going, dude? He's got a gnarly looking face. I don't know what he's got going on there. But yeah, nice copperhead to start off the night. But this guy's already off the road, so I'm just gonna leave him to it. Okay, or he's gonna continue off the road even further. But yeah, nice copperhead. Hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. Well, here's our next snake of the night. That lovely gentleman just stopped to encourage me to kill it, which obviously I won't be doing. I'll be letting it go, as always, but beautiful. Really nice, light-colored little copperhead right here. Second one of the night, vipers are moving pretty strong, so I'm gonna get back on the road in hopes that we can get a pygmy too. Well, it's about two hours after dark and I haven't seen anything since the second copperhead. So I'm probably gonna start making my way home now. Kind of bummed out we didn't see more because it started strong with those two copperheads like right off the bat. Um, and then it just died off, nothing, nothing at all after that. But either way, it was a fantastic day all around. I cannot believe we flipped four king snakes at that spot today. Um, I'm really excited to see how well I can do out there in the spring. If I can find six king snakes and two trips out there in the fall, I'd like to think I can do better than that in the spring. So I'm really excited to see how that pans out. Um, but either way, this video is probably getting kind of long right now, so I'm gonna end up cutting it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.